Hi guys, welcome to Matsy with me, Miss Rezi, your teacher. So today we're going to talk about one particular conic section, which is parabola. As we recall our previous topic on conic section, a parabola is formed when the angle made by the plane to the vertical axis is exactly equal to the vertex angle. We get an open curve called a parabola at the intersecting surface of the cone so it be looking like this now let's have the different parts of a parabola the first one is this the fixed point is called the focus so let's draw a point here and let's name that point F Next, the fixed line is called the directrix. So let's draw a line here. Let's name this line L. Now consider points which are at an equal distance from point F and a line L. Consider this point P1 It will be at an equal distance from the point F and the line L The distance here is equal to the distance here Consider another such point P2 Here, let's name this P2 Its distance from point F will also be equal to its distance from the line L So the distance here is equal to the distance here The next part is the axis of symmetry. It is the line which divides the parabola into two equal parts. So let's draw a line here. This axis of symmetry divides the parabola into two equal parts. The point where the parabola intersects with the uh, axis is called the vertex. So, where's the vertex here? Let's name this point O. Vertex is also known as the midpoint of the perpendicular segment connecting point F to the line L. So, this is perpendicular. To the line L. The line connecting two points on the parabola and passing through the focus is called the lerus rectum. Here is the latus rectum. All such points that satisfy this condition will lie on this curve and such a curve is called a parabola. The definition of a parabola is this. A set of points on the coordinate plane that are of equal distance from a fixed point in a fixed line. Equation of a parabola. Let's draw the x-axis and the y-axis. Now let's take the x-axis along the axis of symmetry of the parabola and the origin O 
has its vertex. So let's name the origin, which is 0, 0, as point O. That will be the vertex. Now let's name the focus point F. So let's name this point F. And the directrix point L. The distance between the vertex O and the focus F is P. Take a point A on the parabola and let its coordinate be X and Y. Since the point A lies on the parabola, the distance from the focus F is equal to its distance from the directrix L. So if we have 8 units here, it should be equal to 8 units here. Now let's name this point as point D. After naming the points, we get this. The distance from A to F is equal to the distance from A to D. Coordinates of point F will be E and O. For this, we can use the distance formula. Let's use the coordinates of the point D as negative P and Y. From this, we get this one. Now let's square both sides. Now let us expand. y squared is equal to 4px. So if p is positive, the graph is going to open towards the right. And it's currently centered at the origin. And it's going to be looking like this. The focus is p units away from the center. So if this is the focus, this is p units away from the center or the vertex. So this is equal to p. And this part is equal to 2p. So if this is p, this is 2p. Now, if you go P units to the other side, you're going to get the directrix. So, this would be negative P or 
x is equal to negative b. Since it's a vertical line and it's x equals to negative p, the graph is centered at the origin in the focus, have the coordinates p, comma, 0. So let's always remember this. If p is positive, it will be going to open towards the right. And if p is negative, it will be going to open towards the left. How about this equation? So this is gonna open up and down like this. So y is equal to something x squared because that's basically the parabola that opens up and down. So for this equation, Always remember that if P is equal to positive, it's going upward like this. If P is negative, it will be going downward or opposite of this figure. So here is the directrix and it's P units away from the center or the vertex. here is the focus which is also p units away from the vertex now the vertex is center at the origin let's name this vertex o once you find out focus for example this one let's name this point f you need to get the distance from here to here and the distance from that point is just equal to 2p so if the graph is shifted a set of y squared is equal to 4px will have this formula If the vertex is not at the origin, this is going to be the equation. If B is shifted to H and K from the origin. So therefore, we only use this formula. If it opens to the right or to the left. On the other hand, x squared is equal to 4py we have this formula so we only use this formula if it only opens upward or downward